Chapter 2 Biological Classification Since the dawn of civilization there have been many attempts to classify living organisms it was done instinctively not using criteria that were scientific but born out of a need to use organisms for our own use for food shelter and clothing Aristotle was the earliest to attempt a more scientific basis for classification. He used simple morphological characters to classify plants into trees, shrubs and herbs. He also divided animals into two groups, those which had red blood and those that did not. In Linnaeus' time, a two-kingdom system of classification with plantae and animalia kingdoms was developed. that included all plants and animals respectively this system did not distinguish between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes unicellular and multicellular organisms and photosynthetic and non photosynthetic organisms classification of organisms into plants and animals was easily done and was easy to understand but a large number of organisms did not fall into either category hence the two kingdom classification used for a long time was found inadequate besides gross morphology a need was also felt for including other characteristics like cell structure nature of wall mode of nutrition habitat methods of reproduction evolutionary relationship etc classification systems for the living organisms have hence undergone several changes over the time though plant and animal kingdom have been a constant under all different system the understanding of what groups or organisms be included under these kingdoms have been changing the number and nature of other kingdoms have also been understood differently by different scientists over the time Arch Whitaker in 1969 proposed a five kingdom classification The kingdoms defined by him were named Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia The main criteria for classification used by him include cell structure, body organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction and phylogenetic relationship table 2.1 gives a comparative account of different characteristics of the five kingdoms the three domain system has also been proposed that divides the kingdom monera into two domains leaving the remaining eukaryotic kingdoms in the third domain and thereby a six kingdom classification you will learn about the system in detail and higher classes let us look at the five kingdom classification to understand the issues and considerations that influence the classification system earlier classification systems included bacteria blue green algae fungi mosses ferns gymnosperms and angiosperms under plants the character that unified this whole kingdoms was that all the organisms included had the cell wall in their cells this placed together groups which widely differed in other characters it brought together the prokaryotic bacteria and the blue green algae with the other groups which were eukaryotic it also grouped together the unicellular organisms and the multicellular ones say for example chlamydomonas and spirogyra were placed together under algae the classification did not differentiate between the heterotrophic group fungi and the autotrophic green plants though they also showed a characteristic difference in their wall composition the fungi had chitin in their walls while the green plants had a cellulosic cell wall when such characteristics were considered the fungi were placed in a separate kingdom kingdom fungi 
All prokaryotic organisms were grouped together under kingdom Monera and the unicellular eukaryotic organisms were placed in kingdom Protista. Kingdom Protista has brought together Chlamydomonas, Chlorella with Paramecium and Amoeba. It has put together organisms which in earlier classification were placed in different kingdoms. This happened because the criteria for classification changed. This kind of changes will take place in future too depending on the improvement in our understanding of characteristics and evolutionary relationships. Over time, an attempt has been made to evolve a classification system which reflects not only the morphological, physiological and reproductive similarities but is also phylogenetic that is, is based on evolutionary relationships. In this chapter, we will study characteristics of Kingdom Monera, Protista and Fungi of the Whittaker system of classification. The Kingdom Plantae and Animalia, commonly referred to as plant and animal kingdoms respectively, will be dealt separately in chapter 3 and 4. Kingdom Monera Bacteria are the sole members of the kingdom Monera. They are the most abundant microorganisms. Bacteria occur almost everywhere. Hundreds of bacteria are present in a handful of soil. These also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs, deserts, snow and deep oceans where very few other life forms can survive. Many of them live in or on other organisms as parasites. Bacteria are grouped under four categories based on their shape. The spherical coccus, the rod-shaped bacillus, the comma-shaped vibrium, and the spiral spirilla. Though the bacterial structure is very simple, they are very complex in behavior. Compared to many other organisms, bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity. Some of the bacteria are autotrophs, that is, they synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates. They may be photosynthetic autotrophs or chemosynthetic autotrophs. The vast majority of bacteria are heterotrophs, that is, they depend on other organisms or on dead organic matter for food. Archaea bacteria These bacteria are special since they live in some of the most harsh habitats such as extreme salty areas, halophiles, hot springs, thermoacidophiles, and marshy areas, methanogens. Archaea bacteria differ from other bacteria in having a different cell wall structure and this feature is responsible for their survival in extreme conditions. Methanogens are present in the gut of several ruminant animals such as cows and buffaloes and they are responsible for the production of methane from the dung of these animals. Eubacteria There are thousands of different eubacteria or true bacteria. They are characterized by the presence of a rigid cell wall and if motile a flagella. The cyanobacteria have chlorophyll A similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotrophs. The cyanobacteria are unicellular colonial or filamentous, freshwater or marine or terrestrial algae. The colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous sheath. They often form blooms in polluted water bodies. 
Some of these organisms can fix atmospheric nitrogen in specialized cells called heterocysts. Example: Nostoc and Anabina. Chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria oxidize various inorganic substances such as nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia, and use the released energy for their ATP production. They play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, and sulfur. Heterotrophic bacteria are most abundant in nature. The majority are important decomposers. Many of them have a significant impact on human affairs. They are helpful in making curd from milk, production of antibiotics, fixing nitrogen in legume plant roots, etc. Some are pathogens causing damage to human beings, crops, farm animals and pets. Cholera, typhoid, tetanus, citrus canker are well-known diseases caused by different bacteria. Bacteria reproduce mainly by fission. Sometimes under unfavorable condition they produce spores. They also reproduce by a sort of sexual reproduction by adopting a primitive type of DNA transfer from one bacteria to the other. The mycoplasma are organisms that completely lack a cell wall. They are the smallest living cells known and can survive without oxygen. Many mycoplasma are pathogenic in animals and plants. Kingdom Protista All single cell eukaryotes are placed under protista. But the boundaries of this kingdom are not well defined. What may be a photosynthetic protestant to one biologist may be a plant to another. In this book, we include chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, and protozoans under protista. Members of protista are primarily aquatic. This kingdom forms a link with the other dealing with plants, animals, and fungi. Being eukaryote, the protestant cell body contains a well-defined nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Some have flagella or cilia. Protista reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation. Chrysophytes This group includes diatoms and golden algae, commonly called as desmids. They are found in fresh water as well as in marine environments. They are microscopic and float passively in water currents. Most of them are photosynthetic. In diatoms, the cell walls form two thin overlapping shells which fit together as in a soap box. The walls are embedded with silica and thus the walls are indestructible. Thus, diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitat. This accumulation over billions of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth. Being gritty, this soil is used in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups. Diatoms are the chief producers in ocean. Dinoflagellates These organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic. They appear yellow, green, brown, blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells. 
The cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface. Most of them have two flagella, one lies longitudinally and others transversely in a furrow between the wall plates. Very often red dinoflagellate example gony olex undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the C appear red red types toxins released by such large number may even kill other marine animals such as fishes euglenoids majority of them are freshwater organisms found in stagnant water instead of a cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible they have two flagella a short and a long one though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms interestingly the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants example euglena slime molds slime molds are saprophytic protist the body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material under suitable conditions they form an aggregation called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet during unfavorable condition the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips the spores possess true walls they are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions the spores are dispersed by air currents protozoans all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites they are believed to be primitive relative of animals there are four major groups of protozoans amoeba protozoan these organisms live in fresh water sea water or moist soil they move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia false feet as an amoeba marine forms have silica shells on their surface some of them such as entamoeba are parasites flagellated protozoan the members of this group are either free living or parasitic they have flagella the parasitic forms cause diseases such as sleeping sickness example trypanosoma ciliated protozoan these are aquatic actively moving organisms because of the presence of thousands of cilia they have a cavity gullet that opens to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with food to be steered into the gullet example paramecium sporozoans this includes diverse organisms that have an infectious spore like stage in their life cycle the most notorious is plasmodium malarial parasite which causes malaria a disease which has staggering effect on human population kingdom fungi the fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms they show a great diversity in morphology and habitat you must have seen fungi on a moist bread and rotten fruits the common mushrooms you eat and tart stools are also fungi white spots seen on mustard leaves are due to a parasitic fungus 
some unicellular fungi example yeast i used to make bread and beer other fungi cause diseases in plants and animals wheat rust causing paxidia is an important example some are the source of antibiotics example penicillin fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air water soil and on animals and plants they prefer to grow in warm and humid places have you ever wondered why we keep food in the refrigerator yes it is to prevent food from going bad due to bacterial or fungal infections with the exception of yeast which are unicellular fungi are filamentous their bodies consist of long slender thread like structures called hyphae the network of hyphae is known as mycelium Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm. These are called cenocytic hyphae. Others have septae or cross walls in their hyphae. The cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides. Most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates and hence are called saprophytes those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites they can also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means fragmentation fission and budding asexual reproduction is by spore called gonadia or sporangiospores or zoospores and sexual reproduction is by oospore ascospores and basidiospores the various spores are produced in distinct structure called fruiting bodies the sexual cycle involves the following three steps fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes called plasmogamy two fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy three meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spores When a fungus reproduces sexually, two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi, the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells. However, in other fungi, ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dicaryotic stage n plus n that is two nuclei per cell occurs such a condition is called a dicaryon and the phase is called dicaryo phase of fungus later the parental nuclei fuse and the cells become diploid the fungi forms fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs leading to formation of haploid spores the morphology of the mycelium mode of spore formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of the kingdom into various classes one phycomycetes members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitat and on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate Mycelium is aseptate and xenocytic. Asexual reproduction 
takes place by Zeus Poos, not time, or by Aplanos Poos, not more time. These Poos are endogenously produced in sporangium. A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. These gametes are similar in morphology, isogamous or dissimilar, anisogamous or oogamous. Some common examples are muca, rhizopus, the bread mold mentioned earlier, and albugo, the parasitic fungus on mustard. mostly multicellular example penicillium or rarely unicellular example yeast they are saprophytic decomposers parasitic or coprophilus mycelium is branched and septic the asexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores which are produced endogenously in sac-like asci. These asci are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps. Some examples of aspergillus, claviceps, and neurospora. Neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic works. Many members like morals and truffles are edible and are considered delicacious. Basidiomycetes Commonly known form of basidiomycetes are mushrooms bracket fungi or buff bones. They grow in soil, on logs and tree stumps and in living plant bodies as parasites. Example, rust and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septic. The asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes. The resultant structure is dikaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to basidium. Karyogamy and meiosis takes place in the basidium, producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium. The basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called basidiocarps. Some common members are agaricus, mushroom, pustilago, smart and Paxenia, rust fungus. 4. Deuteromycetes Commonly known as imperfect fungi because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungus are known. When the sexual form of these fungi were discovered, they were moved into classes they rightly belong to. It is also possible that the asexual and vegetative stage have been given one name and placed under deuteromycetes, and the sexual stage another and placed under another class. Later, when the linkage were established, the fungi were correctly identified and moved out of deuteromycetes. Once perfect, stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered, they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. 
the deuteromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores known as conidia the mycelium is septate and branched some members are saprophytes or parasites while a large number of them are decomposers of litter and helps in mineral cycling some examples are alternaria colletotrichum and trichoderma kingdom plantae kingdom plantae includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called plants a few members are partially heterotrophic such as the insectivorous plants or parasites bladderwort and venus flytrap are examples of insectivorous plants and cascuta is a parasite the plant cells have an eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast and cell wall mainly made of cellulose you will study the eukaryotic cell structure in detail in chapter 8 plantae includes algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms life cycle of plants has two distinct phases the diploid sporophytic and the haploid gametophytic that alternate with each other the lens of the haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups in plants this phenomenon is called alternation of generation you will study further details of this kingdom in chapter 3 kingdom animalia This kingdom is characterized by heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell walls. They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. They digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat. The mode of nutrition is holozoic by ingestion of food. They follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have a definite shape and size. Higher forms show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanisms. Most of them are capable of locomotion. The sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female followed by embryological developments saline features of various phyla are described in chapter 4 viruses viroids prions and lichens in the five kingdom classification of vitaco there is no mention of lichens and some a cellular organisms like viruses viroids and prions these are briefly introduced to you all of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses can have on us even if we do not associate it with a condition viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not considered true living if we understand living as those organism that have a cell structure the viruses are non cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell once they infect a cell they take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves killing the host would you
would you call viruses living or non living virus means venom or poisonous fluid dimitri ivanovsky in 1892 recognized certain microbes as causal organisms of the mosaic disease of tobacco these were found to be smaller than bacteria because they pass through bacteria proof filters m w bejanik 1898 demonstrated that the extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and named the new pathogen virus and called the fluid as contagium vivum fluidum infectious living fluid w m stanley 1935 showed that viruses could be crystallized and crystals consist largely of proteins they are inert outside the specific host cells viruses are obligate parasites in addition to proteins viruses also contain genetic material that could be either rna or dna no viruses contain both rna and dna a virus is a nucleoprotein and the genetic material is infectious in general viruses that infect plants have single stranded rna and viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna bacterial viruses or bacteriophages viruses that infect the bacteria are usually double stranded dna viruses the protein coat called capsids made of small subunits called capsomeres protect the nucleic acid these capsomeres are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms viruses cause disease like mumps smallpox herpes and influenza aids in human is also caused by a virus in plants the symptom can be mosaic formation leaf rolling and curling yellowing and vein clearing dwarfing and stunted growth viroids in 1971 the ordena discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than viruses and caused potato spindle tuber disease it was found to be a free rna it lacked the protein coat that is found in viruses hence the name viroid the rna of the viroid was of low molecular weight prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological diseases were found to be transmitted by an agent consisted of abnormally folded proteins the agent was more similar in size of viruses these agents were called prions the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongiform encephalopathy commonly called mad cow disease in cattle and its analogous variant cr jacob disease in humans lichens lichens are symbiotic associations that is mutually useful associations between algae and fungi the algal component is known as phycobiont and fungal component as mycobiont which are autotrophic and heterotrophic 
respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partner so close is the association that if one saw a lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organisms within them lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas